Hello everybody. In this uh, video clip I want to show you how you can very easily create a large number of uh, questions for your Moodle quiz which you can import uh, into a question bank. And I think uh, that's one of the issues that people very often have. Uh, they we don't like to type in the same question time and time again uh, into the Moodle question editor. So here's a different way how to do it. And it uses the GIFT format uh, that you can use to import uh, questions into a question bank. So basically what it looks like is uh, here's the question. You need to prepare a certain uh, volume of something and uh, what I want to do is I want to change the, the numbers here so that I can create a lot of different questions, each with a different number. And of course, I don't want to uh, type that in. So how can I do that? Well, there is a simple way uh, that you can use it uh, or do it. And I use Excel. So what I do is I type my question text. So I start uh, typing here. Uh, so for example, you need to prepare and then comes basically the number that I want to change. And so I go into uh, the next cell and I want uh, a random number that the computer generates. So I start with equals rand between and this chooses a random number. I need to uh, identify the lower and the upper uh, range of this number. Let's say uh, from 10 to 800. milliliter and I carry on with my question of a and I do the same thing for the molarity equals rand between um let's say 10 to 800 millimolar solution the substance has a molecular mass of and that goes into the next one and I do the final round between and let's say it has a molecular mass uh, anywhere between 100 and uh, a thousand gram per mole. How much of that substance do you have to weigh in? Question mark. And now we want the student to uh, put the answer into uh, an, uh, a new line. So what we do is for Moodle, in order to use the gift format, we do backslash n and put in answer. And the gift format uses a very particular format. So uh, the answer always has to be in curly brackets, so answer curly bracket, and uh, to indicate that it is a numerical answer, it needs the hash key uh, in place. And now we just simply calculate the amount that uh, we would expect, so the correct answer, and we calculate that. And that, of course, is just simply equals the volume times the concentration times the molecular mass. And because we've got milliliter and millimolar, 
we divide it by 1000 and we also want to round it to two decimal places so we use the round function of Excel and we want this to two decimal places so here we get the answer so we would need 5540 we made a mistake here it's not divided by a thousand we need to divide it by a million so 16.77 and we that is the correct answer and we want to give it with a certain tolerance we can do that uh, just by entering a colon and our tolerance is 0 0.1 and we close the uh, bracket session. We give it a unit, gram, dot, and here comes a trick. And I show you what this trick uh, actually uh, means later on. Let's type two X's. Okay, so that's our question here and at the moment it doesn't look great uh, what we need to do is we need to put all these bits uh, together that we've written here and uh, so that we can check that uh, everything is all right so we use in excel the concat function so that's the concat function and we want to combine all these things that we've got here and here we've got our question and now let's see what this looks like yep it looks like we've got everything in place wonderful so all we need to do now is we just take this part here and we generate let's say we generate 100 questions so let's do 100 questions and what you see is we've got 100 questions all with a huge variety of numbers and also with the correct answers here. And all we need to do now is really, we need to copy all these, all these questions that we've generated from here to the end. We copy them and we import them into, into Word. So here is our blank document. So we want to import them and we choose the just the text only version. So that's our text only version. Now the problem is that gift format requires a blank line, uh, an additional blank line between the two questions and here is why I put the XX in because what we can do now is we can replace the XX with just simply an additional paragraph format and that would be this carry paragraph and we replace all of the XX's that we have and what we have now is we have our 100 questions that we generated in the right format. So we've got the answer here, uh, the correct number with a tolerance and even a unit. So what we need to do is now we need to save this in the correct format. So file save as and I just uh, put that on my desktop. And here comes another trick. 
we are we cannot save this as a word document we have to save it as a plain text file so here's a plain text and let's call this you need to prepare let's call this solution questions plain text save and here comes the last bit that we need to uh, consider it will ask us what the coding format is and we need to go to other encoding and use the utf8 encoding that's the correct encoding and click ok and now we have a file We have a file solution questions that is in the correct uh, format that contains all the information and from here we can very easily uh, import that into uh, Moodle into a question bank in Moodle. So I hope this helps and uh, thank you for watching.